Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric here. So today I got the Kramer logo in black. So I got one in black and one in gold and the black one for this headstock. So I want to thank Jeff over at Diamond Cut Graphics USA. Once again, the guy came through. No problems, no questions asked. I tell you, man, he's, uh, he's right there when I need something. You guys need something, get a hold of him. Check out his site. I got it all over my channel. And uh, yeah, so here is the new Kramer logo right there. And that's going to go on this headstock right here. And after I get the Kramer logo on, this is getting epoxied. So let me prep the logo. I got to do a couple things with it first. Make sure that the logo sticks to the outside plastic clear sheet. So I'm going to rub it a few times. And then I need to cut the ends where it's folded over. Now this has been sanded with 1500 grit sandpaper. Got all the burrs that were on the edges of the lines off. Peeling the Kramer logo off right now. Oh man, this is going to be great. So this has to go under the second, right under the second, right underneath the second uh, pin. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I like the black better than putting the gold one on here, that's for sure. I'm peel this off. The little M doesn't want to stay on there. Just some small ass writing right here. This is all sticking really good. Back down to you. Maybe I should go this way with peeling it off. Maybe it'd be a lot easier. See, I had a. Yeah, this will work. No. That's not what I want. I want something a little bit stronger than that. Let's go with this. Just to push everything down. Make sure it's all stuck on there really good.
beautiful. Make sure TM stays on there. All right. Oh, beautiful. Just fucking beautiful. So I already have the headstock all masked off. I already have a drip tray around, a drip skirt around the edge. And each one of these holes has got tape on the bottom of it. I sealed up around the uh, truss rod cover. So I'm ready to start pouring. All right, so the headstock has been leveled. You wanna make sure that when you're doing a pour, your project is pretty much flat, you know, nice flat surface, so it's not going to pour to one side more than the other side or just completely fall off. I got my epoxy already mixed up and I am ready to pour. Just wanna make sure that everything is stuck down over here. I don't want no problems. Make sure this is got no dirt, dust, or anything else on there. So let's start pouring. I'm gonna have to re-drill out all the holes that I already know. And I probably put way too much. I get the sides nice and covered. I want this to wrap around the sides really good. To re drill out all the holes, and it's not a big deal to me. So it looks like coverage is pretty good. Check it around the truss rod. Pretty, really good. All right, so I'm not gonna use a torch for this. I'm gonna use a small lighter these guys. Well, it's kind of like a torch.
Now all I gotta do is just let that cure and she'll be good to go. Cause I'm only putting one coat on that and I'm gonna give it a nice sanding. And it looks like I made a little bit too much, which is fine because that little bit too much is going to go in here. She's looking good. Some bubbles coming through the where the holes is. Not a big deal. Let that cure. And Wally, she's getting done. <laughs> 